Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know it's been some time since my last video, but I am back and I am so ready to create. Today I have another review for you guys. We're gonna be reviewing, unboxing, and doing the first impressions of the Gucci Marmont mini bag. I've been eyeing this baby up for a little while now and I wasn't sure if I should take the plunge or not, but what the heck, I did. So I'm super excited to share it with you, but before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe for more. And without further ado, let's get into the bag. So we've got this big baby here. Obviously the classic Gucci packaging. I absolutely love Gucci bags. Um, not just the handbags, but the actual packaging itself. I find that it's so classy and so minimalistic that it speaks volumes without being over the top. Sometimes I find it kind of ironic that Gucci is one of those designers that has some really loud and kind of outgoing bags if you had to personify one of these bags, but their packaging is super minimalistic and super, super clean. So I just think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I think I'm actually like a packaging junkie because I feel like I get sometimes more excited about the packaging than the actual product. Struggling a little. Uh, I don't remember this being that hard. And now for the big moment. Ah! The feeling of untying a bow on a designer box is just incomparable. When you open up the box. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Okay, so inside the box, you have got this, again, absolutely gorgeous dust bag. It is super silky, and this is great to actually store your bag in. Um, don't just use your dust bag when the bag comes fresh out of the box, but obviously between uses, make sure that you're storing your bags in their dust bags, because the whole point of a dust bag is to ensure that your handbag stays free of any sort of dust, dirt, anything that could damage the material on the outside, and then obviously just to keep it looking as new as possible for as long as possible. So when I was checking out at Gucci, I was actually told that the bag that I had purchased was fresh out of the box straight from Italy. So there is still some actual plastic packaging on the purse as well. So I know that it's untouched and it hasn't even been on show in the showroom. So super excited about that. So here we have the star of the show. It is obviously a super classy and very wearable piece. It can be worn formally, it can be worn casually, Casually, really just depends on how you dress it up or dress it down. So the Marmont collection is obviously one of the staple collections at Gucci. I've seen so many people sporting this line. So this bag is made of a softer leather. Um, its structure is a bit less defined than something like the Dionysus collection would be. It'll obviously hold its shape a lot better once it is stuffed. The base of this bag is pretty flat, so it is going to be able to stand up once it's full. Um, you don't have to worry about it toppling over simply because it's made of soft leather. As long as your bag is full, then you should be good. One thing that is super, super important about this particular bag and the Marmont collection overall is that these bags must be stuffed when they're not being used to ensure that they will keep their shape. Because it is made of softer leather, it's more likely to become a little bit more flimsy over time. So to ensure that the bag keeps its shape when you're not using it, just make sure that you stuff it and store it in its dust bag. There is some beautiful chevron stitching across the bag. Um, I think that adds a lot of personality to this bag as well, as opposed to it just being like a pebbled leather bag. On the back of this bag, there is again that chevron stitching and there's a little heart stitched into it. I think that is such an adorable detail. Um, I know this side of the bag might not be exposed to everyone else a lot of the time and you'll just kind of know that this is on the back of the bag for yourself. I find that it adds some character to the bag and I don't know, something about the chevron stitching and the softer leather and the gold detailing reminds me of a more vintage bag, but I absolutely love the look of the Marmont bags for that reason especially. I find that they look a little bit more dated than something like the Dionysus collection, which is a little bit more contemporary, but that's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something with a bit more personality, something that looked a little bit more vintage, so super, super excited to wear this bag. The hardware on the bag is obviously entirely gold. I was actually specifically in the market for a bag with gold hardware. So this kind of gives me the best of both worlds. I got the gold hardware as well as a leather that is very wearable and versatile. And I know that I'm gonna wear black with everything because I pretty much wear black every day. So <laughs> there's a classic double G that sits just above the clasp that opens the actual bag. And then obviously the chain is a thicker gold chain. And there's also a leather strap where the chain would rest on your shoulder. I love not just about this bag, but about Gucci bags in general the fact that the chains can be worn in so many different ways and that just changes the overall look of the bag as well so this bag can obviously be worn as a shoulder bag and then if you just extend it a bit it can be worn as a crossbody you definitely are gonna get a lot of wear out of bags like this in order to open this bag there's kind of like a little push button right under this tongue 
and it just opens up the clasp right here. I find that it's very secure and you can ensure that it's not just gonna pop open like it would if it was just a button, uh, especially if your bag is gonna be really full considering the soft leather. So you just pop it open and you can see that the bag is properly secured. There's a lot of room for the bag to expand as well because of the material it's made of. And uh, regardless of how much you expand the bag, this lock is gonna ensure that the bag is closed and secure and nothing's gonna be falling out of it. Once you open up the bag, you can see that the interior still has that soft black leather, but then on the inside, you've got this suede material in this blush color, which is super, super pretty, and you've got this little pocket as well. Other than that pocket, there aren't any sort of compartments in this bag. It is pretty much just a bag where you would throw things into, and if you are someone who likes to have uh, little compartments in your bag you could easily put that in here because there is some room in it but If you're not that kind of person you could easily just throw your phone even a wallet and some makeup products And you would be good to go because there's definitely room for that and probably more in here I think the interior color of the bag is very well thought out because considering the bag is black If the interior of the bag was black as well It would make it a little bit more difficult to find things if you were in a rush But seeing as the inside of the bag is a lighter blush color You'll definitely be able to find whatever you're looking for fairly easily one thing that that I think you would have to be mindful of in this suede is that if it was to get marked up it would be a little bit harder to clean um, but again it is on the inside of the bag so it's better than having something like a velvet bag which also is part of the Marmont line um, that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't go for the velvet bags I just thought you know if I want to be able to wear this bag as an everyday bag in addition to obviously having it be a statement piece I want to make sure that it is going to be able to hold up through different conditions whether it's cold weather whether it's kind of like those muggier days or or if things spill on it, will I be able to clean the material? That's one thing that's amazing about this bag. Uh, because of its leather, it's super easy to clean, especially the exterior. The interior is going to be a little bit more stubborn because of the suede, but still, you can clean that, and it's also on the inside of the bag. Um, but if the bag was made entirely of something like velvet, it wouldn't be as wearable because it would be so delicate and would need a lot of attention. So... This is definitely gonna be one of those easy bags to use and I'm so glad I went for the leather over the velvet. I'm a small bag kind of girl, so I think I will be able to fit my everyday essentials in here. I really only carry a few things with me. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't like big bags because I feel like I end up moving into my bag if I have something larger than this size. I think this is a pretty good size for an everyday bag and especially if you're gonna use it on something like a night out. So this is just a little bit bigger in size than the wallets on chains. I was gonna originally go for another wallet on chain, but obviously I have the Dionysus and I love it. It is so practical, but I wanted a little bit of a change, so I went for this. So in Canadian dollars, this bag retails for $2,010 plus tax. That is obviously a high-end price, um, but you are paying for a high-end product and high-end quality. So you can ensure that if you're someone like me who loves smaller bags and you want something that is gonna pass as a day bag, a night bag, an everyday bag, as well as a special occasion bag, you will definitely, definitely get value out of this. I promise you that the amount that you're spending on it will be well worth it. So after all of that, I think you can tell that I am absolutely ecstatic to have this bag in my collection and I can't wait to get some use out of it. I find that I reach for a lot more gold nowadays as opposed to silver, so this is gonna be a cool little addition to my wardrobe. That is it for my unboxing and first impressions video of the Gucci Marmont. I hope you all liked it and if you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment and let me know what else you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much again for being so patient with me and I can't wait to share more videos with you in the near future. Until then, please take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.